So in the memory of Camille, affectionately known as Cupcake, I'd like to ask for a brief moment of silence in her honor. A moment of silence today for Camille Cupcake McKinney at the Magic City Classic News Conference. As the city of Birmingham prepares for one of its biggest events, they pause to remember the life of the three-year-old who lost her life so young. Good evening, I'm Sherry Jackson. I'm Jack Royer. Tonight we have team coverage of the investigation into McKinney's death and how the community is coming together to honor her. We begin with CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark live at Birmingham Police Headquarters tonight with the latest on the investigation at this hour. Michael. Well, Jack Sherry at this hour right now, still no formal charges announced against suspects Patrick Stallworth and Derek Irisha Brown, though both remain in police custody. Meanwhile, neighbors are reacting to a tragic end to a case that gripped many here in central Alabama and beyond. After more than a week searching for Camille Cupcake McKenney and Birmingham police now know the remains found Tuesday are that of the three year old following identification from the coroner Wednesday. Locating the remains were the last pieces of the puzzle that we needed to bring the capital murder charges and the kidnap charges against the individuals, which we will seek warrants for on tomorrow. This is video of suspects Patrick Stallworth and Derek Irisha Brown being taken into custody last week after neighbors say they called in to report the suspect vehicle seen on the news. I was like, what's going on? And they was like, that's the vehicle. That's the dude and the girl that stays downstairs. So I was like, why didn't anybody call the police? And they was like, they didn't want to be involved. So I took it upon myself to call. Deborah Douglas and her brother recorded video of the arrest. She was heartbroken to learn police found the child's body in a dumpster that had been parked not far from the apartments. It's, it's really sad because how could you do a three year old like that? Tonight, Douglas and her family join others praying for McKinney's family left behind while they wait to learn more about the motive behind the kidnapping from investigators. They saw an opportunity to take a young child, which they did and uh, our further investigation will reveal whatever actions were taken after that. Now, still no update today from Birmingham Police. Meanwhile, we've reached out to the Jefferson County District Attorney's Office throughout the day for any updates on charges so far. We have none to report as soon as we get any information on charges that may be filed at some point within the next day or so. We'll let you know at CBS42.com. If now reporting live outside BPD, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Michael, thank you.